So back to the poem. Two stanzas again this time, 24, 25. An unwise man thinks anyone who laughs with him is his friend. He doesn't understand that the wise are mocking him, even when he overhears them. An unwise man thinks anyone who laughs with him is his friend. But he won't find these friends when he goes to court. No one will speak on his behalf. This one's a sort of a cold slap of reality because just because you're hanging out with people and they laugh at your jokes and you have a good time with them doesn't mean that they are one doesn't mean that you, they're your good friends, that they're going to be there when things are bad. And it, actually we, we talked a bit about that uh, before and it, it's sort of an, until you face one of these situations where they have, they're given the option when things are rough to uh, distance themselves, you know, whether they stay or get out of town, that's sort of the, that's sort of, that's the litmus test, right? So I really see this as uh, putting too much trust in people that, that you have fun with, because you, you can have fun with people without having like a, a tight, uh, a tight bond with that. That's not hard. And, and you, you do that, you can do that all the time. Like if you play any sports, you might not be friends with everyone on the team, but you're having fun together and working together and that kind of thing. But it doesn't mean they're going to have your back when times are tough. So yeah, I think again, it's a, another call to moderation in that don't, don't judge the quality of your relationship with someone by the amount of fun you have with them. That's a good point. And I, I, I mean, the, where I went with this was that, you know, maybe, maybe you're trying too hard to fit in or you're, you're trying sure. too hard to make jokes that, you know, maybe they, they land sometimes, but oftentimes not so much necessarily. And that's, and, but the important part is how you, you, that's not how you get, real friendships and that's that's not how they they nope. stick around and then the point about the point about um going to court so so literally what they're talking about is the the concept of the the thing which was the 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 way for all men in in a, in a village or an area to get together and discuss important matters make decisions and and uh you know maybe if there if there's some some issue for for you Right, you're you're being brought up on some kind of a charge of maybe stealing something or, or whatever, some some something less than murder because that's that's different. But um, you, you know, if other people spoke on behalf of your character and stuff like that, you know, that would be a, a way for uh, y y evidence enough that you know you wouldn't be the sort of person to to do that sort of thing. And and I mean, in in our society like that the parallels that we have i think that's something something like when when push comes to shove who's going to really have your back right so it might not necessarily be in a in a court type situation court of law which by the way our legal system is directly descended from the the germanic concept yes. of of laws english common laws is, is the is what underlies um well, well english law but then American law, Canadian law, it's, it's, For sure. it has, it, they, they may be quite different in practice, but they, they share common roots. And, and, uh, so English law is the cousin to Scandinavian law. They work basically the same way. So. Yeah. I think that's about all I have for, for this part. Good enough. 